Yo, what's up guys? We are back with another video. And before we even get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. We're almost at 500,000 subscribers. So if you guys are new to this channel, if you've never seen us before, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you guys are already subscribed, we obviously appreciate you. So for today's video, we are doing what? Reading your guys' assumptions. Well, what was that first word? What did you say? Reading? Or you sound like Shakira. Reading. We are basically going to be reading your guys' assumptions about me and Cayman, either as individuals or as a couple. We put up a post on our Insta our story, I would say, a story on both of our Instagrams um, asking you guys what are your guys' assumptions. I started reading them because I'm hella nosy. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what we're going to be doing today. And we're going to do like a uh, reading assumption slash mukbang. Is that how you say mukbang? Mukbang? Did I say it? We say mukbang. We mukbang? were we pronouncing it however we felt mukbang. like. Mukbang. Okay, you get the point. Basically, us eating, reading your guys' assumptions, answering questions, assumptions that you guys may have of us, and hopefully you guys get to know us a little bit better. And yeah. The main topic is obviously that, but we're gonna go get. Um, we're having like a crab boil mukbang. I don't really like do crab, but crab, I order her some crab. So mm -hmm. we're on our way to pick it up right now. And then we'll go back to the house and we'll film this little mukbang. So I hope you guys will learn a lot more about us throughout this video because there are a lot of assumptions about us, I feel like. So we'll see what people have been saying. I haven't personally looked, so I don't know. But obviously she just said she looked, so she knows what's up. Hopefully we can, we can, or you guys can learn a lot more about us and then we'll be closer. You know, it's not a prank. You know, it's a regular video. I'm excited for this video. I don't have. Damn, I had a booger in my nose this whole time. You didn't tell me. I didn't even see it. I just oh, didn't God. see it. I really didn't see it. It's okay, babe, because I have fucked up eyelashes. It doesn't matter. That is not the same thing. Yes, it is. What Booger's are you talking like, about? Look at my shit. They look booger. like fucking. If y'all didn't know, my nail literally fell off when we went to Vegas because I partied way too hard and I wanted to be crazy. And I literally, like, broke my whole. Okay, it's not focusing. My whole nail literally <laughs> fell off. It's probably not gonna go on your nail. This oh, there we go. Boom. <laughs> it looks like a fucking, like, you know when people like bite their nails and stuff? That's what it looks like. So now I have to let it grow back. Like I have an appointment two weeks from now to get my nails done. So hopefully by two weeks from now, it will grow back to, like, oh, back to normal. Yeah, I'm gonna be back better than ever. Anyways, we're on our way to get food, so we'll see you guys later. Okay, guys, so we are back at the house, and we're about to start this mukbang slash answering your assumptions about us, like us as individuals uh, or us as a couple. We are really, really hungry. Like, I don't think you guys understand how hungry we are. Like, Carla was already eating before we started the video. So, <laughs> we waited for our food for a long time, so we're really excited to eat. Like we said earlier in the video, um, we posted on our Instagram stories, what are you guys' assumptions about me and Carla, or she said on hers, me or KB. We're gonna be going through them and then answering what you guys are. We're gonna talk about what some of the things are that you guys have said. Uh, All right, before we get into that though, let me, can you show them this crab? Leg that oh, you yeah. just pulled out because it looks hella okay, good. Okay, it was. I already started taking it out, but look how big this is. Is there like a butter you you can dip it in, or like what do you dip it in? I don't in? know. I mean, they gave us this, but it's like lime, lime juice. How'd you get it out like that? Did they already cut it for you? Yeah. That's what makes. Okay, so we got this like pre chopped uh, crab, and it's really. Oh, yeah. Is it good? Okay. Mad good. This is so good right now. Mm -hmm. If you're out there watching this, this is low key like a ASMR. Like, do ASMR. How do you do it? Well, I already ate it all. So, this girl says Carla will beat someone's ass for looking at her man the wrong way. <laughs> is this assumption true or is this not true? Um, I'm gonna let you answer. I'm gonna that. say it's like a yes and no question. It just depends on the situation. I put, I put those days past me. I don't do that stuff anymore. So, is it a yes or a no? If it's like the most necessary Would thing. you be somebody's ass if they were staring at me? Mm, like I said. I already, know that, I already know because she literally just did this like two weeks ago. Whoa. The answer is yes, she will. If a girl's being super disrespectful, like not just looking because anybody can look at somebody. When a girl is like obnoxiously trying to be like, I'm looking Cross at your attention. man and I'm like at your get man. attention, then like, yeah, she gets mad. Ah. Are you okay? Yeah. So the answer to that question is yes, she will be somebody's ass, so don't try it. Okay, it says, uh, you and KB want another fur baby. I don't think I could do another dog because. Where we're living. 
where we live at and like dogs are, are like kids. So like the more you have, like the more you have to take care of them. Honestly, having two sometimes is overwhelming. Like mm -hmm. they do things that just overwhelm us and like it gets really frustrating. And then when we travel, you gotta figure out like what they're gonna do or you feel bad when you leave them at home. If we had three, like I wanna at least have a backyard or something that they can go like run in. Yeah. But an apartment, no. What's your answer? Unless we were like somewhere else where we had a backyard or like a house, like a big house, then I would say yes. Honestly, not at the moment. But would I want another one? Yes. We obviously would want more dogs, but we just can't. Not at the moment. We can't give the dogs the life they deserve if we have another one right now. Mm -hmm. Next dog we get is going to be a rescue or not. We're not going to buy our next dog because when we first got our dogs, we didn't know like well, I didn't know. Me neither. You're not supposed to buy dogs. I just thought like, okay, I wanted a puppy. I didn't know where to go. Mm -hmm. But now that we've learned more about dogs and how many dogs are in shelters, how many dogs need homes, we really want to get like a dog from a, a shelter, like rescue a dog. Yeah, we really want to adopt. Yeah. You know what's crazy is like, before I met Carla, I don't even, <laughs> I don't think I ever put lime on any of my stuff. And now I find myself putting lime on everything. I eat tortillas with every, like every other <laughs> meal. Like I'll make any meal and just add a tortilla. I never For used no to do reason. that. That's cause she always used to, I'm I like, do. Why are you adding a tortilla to anything? <laughs> but like, it goes with almost, it goes with everything. It does. This isn't an assumption, but y'all love so, is so genuine, unlike these other couples. So this person is basically saying that they feel like our love is genuine based or compared to other people. Now, I don't know about other people. I'm not going to compare yeah, our relationship to other people because we don't really know them. And you guys have to understand, like when people film or you see stuff on the internet, that's what they choose to show you. So they might not be able to portray their relationship, how it really might be like behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. And so when we filmed, a lot of people got on us because they weren't like super affectionate or yeah. I'm not like filming our like most intimate moments and like that's just not the case. We genuinely, genuinely do love each other and like it's not like a fake, oh we're doing this for the internet type thing because if that was the case it would have ended a long time ago. Yeah, we didn't even like put each other on social media for like months mm -hmm. like until we really knew okay like we're gonna be together if we're gonna do something together as a YouTube or anything like that like we want to make sure that our relationship you know we don't get caught up in stuff like that like we generally want to be together and yeah. yeah Your assumption is true. Your assumption is true. That's definitely 100% true. So we're gonna try some of this crab. Oh, this is sharp. God damn. <sighs> I like how okay. it's pre-cut though. This makes it so much easier. It says, you definitely wear the pants. Yeah. Wait, read that again. Okay. Yeah, read it clearly because I didn't hear you the first time. It I says, you definitely wear the pants and there's so many of them saying that. So they're saying that Carla wears the pants in our relationship, huh? Pretty much. Um, I think that... Because I know my answer. I think we both do. Run, not, we don't run because it's supposed to be a unit. It's not, no one runs a relationship it shouldn't be ever like a relationship shouldn't be about who wears the pants and who doesn't it should be equal that's why you're together as a unit no one has a bigger opinion than the other you come together if you want to have the bigger pants and you're I don't know, what, what is this it goes in the middle it's in the middle the ligament or something i guess honestly if you're in a relationship if you really want to wear the pants then be single and don't be with somebody else because we're very opinionated people i think we both have learned how to understand each other the things we do in our relationship balance each other out so one person dominates the entire thing that's called wearing the pants in quotes right in my ideal relationship i do things that she might not be that good at she does things that I might not be so good at. It's not about being good or not, but like she compliments and helps me in areas that I need to work on and I do the same for her. So it, it evens out. Mm -hmm. So nobody really wears the pants. We both have a say so on everything that goes on. And that's why it's pretty balanced. You don't really want, some girls might like that. I don't know. They might like a guy that dominates everything. But at the end of the day, I feel like they're always unhappy somehow because they they don't get a say in anything. Mm -hmm. So ours is really equal. It's not unbalanced. It's not like I'm telling her what to do or she's telling me what to do. You know, we both do it. So we both have like one leg in pants. We both wear the pants in the story. Mm -hmm. sure. All right, next one. Yo, that was hella good. This is an assumption. It's about to get real. You ready for it to get real? Yep. Okay, this girl says, Carla, her ass is fake, and so are the lips, but she pretty though, hard eyes. <laughs> Go ahead and answer that one. So the assumption is- Ah! What? What? You got, you got some spicy ass liquid in my eye. 
That's not funny. I'm sorry, babe. I would, I would rub you, but I have like stuff on. You know, I got sensitive eyes. I'm sorry, it's not my fault. About the fake ass situation, no, my ass is not fake. I have a really small butt, so I don't know where you guys get that from because I really don't have. Basically, what they're saying is your ass looks hella nice to the point where they feel like it's fake. It's really not though. Anyways, but my lips are fake. I wasn't. But they already know that. We put a whole video about that. Yeah, everybody knows that, so I'm not like hiding it. And so. lip lip fillers are like literally temporary. You can get, you can literally. Literally, like they will go down if you let that pass or you can get it removed like you can literally go get it removed So that assumption is false. Yeah, no half of it is false. Half Her of it. ass is very real. Trust me. I know Okay, my turn Okay The only thing about eating this type of food is like when you're done you smell like this food for a long time Okay, so the next assumption is y'all low-key want a baby. What do you? What is your answer to that? I don't necessarily want a baby. That would be cool, but I don't really know what that would feel like because I don't have one. I think right now, the things. <laughs> I think right now the things that we want. We're on the same page, so right now our goal isn't to have a kid. While we can, like we want to go out and not saying you can't do these things when you have a baby, but right now we want to be free. We want to be able to go to Julia's Destiny's house and get lit and come back at five in the morning, and not worry about anything. Like we just want to live our lives as young adults and do these things that we know we can do, and that with a baby would be still possible but harder to do. Mm -hmm. So right now we're in no rush to have a baby or like have a baby because it's cool or have a baby because of the internet. We're just doing our thing right now, and if it naturally happens like on its own, that's fine. But like we're not like actively saying. Like, oh, we're gonna try to have a baby. Like, hell no. If it were to happen, I feel like you know, it ha it's like destined to happen. Like, it's <clears throat> well, the way you take your birth control, you might really have one. I don't. That should be looking like tic tac toe. Anyways, anyways, we don't not necessarily want a baby this like at this moment, but in but the future, yeah, in the future, yes, we do want kids for mm -hmm. sure. Another juicy one, she said, Y'all relationship is staged for the money. First post y'all have is about a link to a video. Is she referring to Instagram or something? Maybe. People are gonna always think that it's for whatever reason, but for us, it's not that case. Like for some people, it could be that way. Well, to keep it short and sweet, that shit just not true. We just talked about how we really are. We really don't even post like that anyway. Like, I don't know what y'all think we do, but we post on YouTube like once a week. Really Sometimes do. in a month, it'd be twice a month. So like for somebody to say we're in it for the money, a lot of our money that we make is separate. Mm -hmm. It'll have nothing to do with her or nothing to do with me. The only time it is, is like on YouTube, which we rarely post on. So if you add all those up, you would literally get your answer right there. Some people do do that for the money. Some people do come together. They're like business partners, they do what they gotta do, but that's not us. People that really like pay attention can tell when you're doing stuff for the money or you're really just doing it because you want to do it and we know. And I'm lucky getting full, are you getting full? Me too. This is like heavy, like mm -hmm. uh, I was hungry now, like I'm done. Okay, so this is the assumption, are you ready? So the next assumption is. Wait, wait, let me get her here. You're stuck the F up and KB is chill AF. She's stuck up and I'm chill, hmm. Carla has one of these vibes about her that when people don't know her, they think she's bitchy or like, I'm not calling her but like saying she's bitchy or she might be rude or might be, looks mean. But then when they actually talk to her, she's like, everybody loves her and wants to be around her and like mm -hmm. <laughs> never want to leave her. So it's um, really funny how it works because a lot of my friends that actually always like want to be around me and stuff, like at first they always give me the same thing like, yo, when I met you, I don't know if I could be friends with you, you looked really mean to yourself. And I am very to myself, I'm just really like, shh. It, I wouldn't say I'm shy because I'm not shy, but I'm just like a little bit more standoffish when I first meet people because I'm not like the type to like be open right away and just he 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 ha. For some people, it works out that way and I have a lot of friends, but for me, it's just different. I'm not stuck up. It may look like maybe exterior wise, but I feel like once you really, really get to know me, everybody like knows that like I'm really like the fun one. The oh my god, let's go do this. Like, ah, uh, like hella extra. He's definitely. The more chill version. As you guys can tell, I'm just a chill ass nigga. That's just what I do. I just always just been to myself. I'm like an introvert. A lot of people don't get my personality when they meet me. They think I'm being rude, but it's just me. Like I'm just a quiet person. Like if I don't know you, it takes me a while to open up to you. And like, whoa, what the? No, she needs to calm down. 
Did she just try to jump up yes. here? Yes. Anyways, I'm, an intro I'm just an introvert. Like, I'm just quiet until I, I warm up, and then I can't warm up to a lot of people at one time. So, like, I'm like a small circle type person. So, like, a couple people, like, one other couple or two other couples. It can't be, like, 10. Because then I don't know, like, I just don't know what to say to you. I don't know you. That aspect, she's a lot more talkative. I'm more chill. So, that, that's kind of where it comes from. But, like, when we both walk into a room, she looks mean. I look mean. It's kind of true, but she's definitely not stuck up at all. If you guys actually meet Carla in real life, you'll understand. You know mm -hmm. what's going on. Next assumption about us. It says, are you ready? Mm -hmm. It says, Carla wants to do her butt, like get her butt done, but you don't let her. So that's that the assumption. That is not entirely true. <laughs> so you're saying it all. is true. No, it's you not true. You said it entirely, so well, I mean, part of it's true. Obviously, I feel like sometimes I think about it, because I'm not going to lie, like, I'm a girl. I see all these girls with big butts, and I'm like, hmm, I she literally can do whatever she whatever. wants, as you guys can clearly see. I literally get surgery, he won't even know. I think he knows that I won't do anything like crazy. No, I think they're making that assumption because of that video we had about the butt implant oh, thing. Oh, yeah. My whole thing was I said, if she's gonna get her butt done, which she can do whatever she wants. Like, I'm not just lying for the camera. Like, I'm genuinely like this. If she's gonna get it done, I just said, make sure you get the thighs to match it. Like, I know that, I don't even know if that's a thing. I don't know if you can get stuff in your thighs. I'm just saying it, but like, just, I didn't want her to look like one of these girls that look just, they just thrash their whole shit just because they wanted a bigger butt, but like, they just look unproportionate. They look like an ant. Like, I didn't want that for her. So, if she's gonna get it done, I wanna make sure she gets it done the right way. Like, so it looks good, because it already looks good. So, I'm like, if you fuck that up, <laughs> that's on you. Like, at that point, I'm like, why would you do that? Why so, did you do it? That's where I'm coming from. If you're coming from a place where you ain't got no type of ass, yo shit is up. I'm like, all right, go. Just go take the chance. But if your shit already looks good and you're taking the chance, it's like you don't really need to take that chance because it's already good. You got a little booty. It's already good. But if I want to, I will let you guys know. But at the moment, no, I do not want it. So the next assumption is: Are y'all freaky? Freaky, freaky. Are you done? Huh? <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> So the assumption is that we freaky, like we don't kiss and tell. We do not kiss and tell. We're not that type. We're not gonna be on camera humping each other and sh We do what we do in private. That's all y'all need to know. I think when it comes, our parents watch this, so we're yeah. not gonna be doing nothing. My grandma be watching this. She gonna be like, really? But y'all don't have to know that. You know? Nah, we be having Bible study, y'all. That's what we do at night That's time. what we do. Bible study. <laughs> Ew, I hate my laugh. <laughs> Man. Hey, you know the Joker? He's like, ha <laughs> ha. It's like, you could make a Joker laugh out of your laugh. All right. <laughs> are you done? <laughs> he always makes a fun of my laugh. What am I, I here care. for if I can't make fun of you? Uh, oh, wait, it's your turn. Wait, did you save a shrimp for me? There's no more shrimp. I think you're both very jealous people. P.S. I love you both. I'm not going to lie. I am very jealous. I am not even going to lie to you. What is mine is mine. But there is like certain boundaries. Like I don't really like go overboard. I feel like if you have no type of jealousy, I think that's a problem. Something's wrong. <laughs> and I don't mean the toxic type of jealous. I mean like the if you really really f with somebody, I don't care who you are because we have these little ass kids in our comments always talking some shit like you're insecure. Oh, you're hella jealous. Y'all yeah. be. F 15 years old. No, 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 about that. Like, relax, okay? If you really f with somebody you're and you in love, love them, with someone? you're gonna have like some type of jealousy. Not all jealousy is in a bad way. You're gonna feel these things. Even if you don't say it, you're gonna feel emotions, them. Yeah. So I'm not super duper jealous, but yes, if it come down to it, I see some shit, I'm like, hey, yo, chill the fuck out. Her or a dude, like, just chill out. I don't play that shit. She don't play that shit. We both understand that. So like, the jealousies kind of cancel each other out. So this next assumption is low key, Carla is more sensitive in arguments. I'm gonna say facts. Period. She's little, but she'll act big and bad. She'll yell, she'll do whatever. And she'll be the first one to start crying or be the first one to start being sensitive. She'll literally flip a switch, like she'll be mad for four hours. <laughs> then all of a sudden, she'll play the sensitive card, like, why are you being mean to me? When she was like, ooh. <laughs> You can't be both, you gotta pick one. Like you gotta be either <clears throat> hard or soft. Like you just be flipping back and forth. I mean, I feel like I am like that a little bit. Look, you don't even know what to say. A little she bit. knows this fact. We don't have to even keep going. This is just a fact, okay. she's more sensitive. So the next assumption is, you're bougie as fuck and he's super chill. That's like the same question as earlier. No, but you can just answer, are you bougie? No, I'm really not. I, li I like to look bougie. So think, if you're from an outside perspective and looking at your shit, would you assume that you're bougie? Mm, 
I think I would. I think before I met her, I assumed you were bougie too. I think you dress really nice and you portray yourself in certain ways, so people that don't know you're gonna think and assume that you are bougie until they but hear then you talk. But then you met me and then what happened? And then you fell in love with me. Oh my gosh. Okay, your turn. When I first met you guys at Halloween Horror Nights, I knew y'all were humble as f I agree. I, I think agree. we're very humble people, and I think that's what keeps us like grounded. We come from humble places and humble beginnings. Or I would never, ever, no matter how much money or whatever I get, like I would never just be like stuck up and like, ooh, I'm this, I'm that. I've never been like that. I think y'all could tell. Um, she's not like that either. I think also like when I go out in public and obviously I look decent and stuff like that, I, people just assume like, oh, she looks mean or the way she carries herself, but. Honestly, I feel like you have to sometimes as a girl, especially living here in LA, you kind of have to carry yourself in a really like strong, confident way. If not, you'll literally just like, get eaten up. you get eaten up like crazy. So at the end of the day, I know who I am and I am very, very humble. And I will always remember where I came from. And mm -hmm. my family always reminds me of that. My mom does not play that. Mine either. She ever saw me act any type of way, she would really just Next assumption is what y'all are like an old couple who don't like going out much. It's facts. It's f I'm a homebody. Facts. facts. Spendy facts. Facts. Period. We like being at home. Facts. We pay rent for a reason. We like being at the crib. But if y'all, as y'all can see, we do go out. So like yeah, we we'll do. do things like go to Vegas or there be events that we go to. That's our way of going out. Mm -hmm. Or what we like to do, because I'll just say it, we like to be at home in the comfort of our home and just turn up. Because mm -hmm. we ain't gotta deal with no bullshit. Yeah. Nobody you don't want to be around like you just you can do whatever you want if and then I go lay down it, I can just go to sleep <laughs> on my floor <laughs> like tell me what's better than that Like seriously, that's why you pay rent but also food. also as a couple we do go out and like and yeah, you can do. still have fun and go out as a couple a lot of people think like oh you because can. you're a couple you can't go out like yeah, i see tweets all the time like hey, i'm a good girl i stay at home what the f are you talking about if you're a good girl you're gonna be a good girl wherever you're at in your mm -hmm. fucking life wherever you're so, at the club anywhere exactly we'll go out together we come home together we continue tonight you know what it is what it is the assumption is you let carla do whatever she wants um facts Yes, he does. <laughs> but explain though. Okay, but okay, this is how it goes. So basically, obviously we're in a relationship uh -huh. and a lot of relationships that I've ever seen or anything like that, there's a lot of like restraint, not re like what is it, what do we call restraints? Like certain things that the- A lot of the, controlling. Yeah, a lot of controlling and the way you dress, the way where you go out with, who you go out with, mm -hmm. um, all of that. But I think there's a lot of trust between him and I that he knows that whatever it is I'm doing, I'm doing for myself. And he I, he knows I'm very, very smart when it comes to situations I'm in or like if I ever go out by myself or anything like that. He knows I'm very much aware and like I'm, Smart. I just trust my girlfriend. It's as simple as that. Like, mm -hmm. it's not like I'm letting her do whatever she wants to do. I just, I don't own her. Like, regardless of what happens if we're married or whatever, you don't own your partner. And like, you don't want them to feel like that. There's a balance. Like, obviously I'm not gonna be like, just don't give a f about whatever she does. Like, I care. But like, as long as you are doing the right things and you have trust in relationship, like those things won't bother you because you'll communicate. But the reason why I'm so comfortable is like, we just learn this thing where we like always communicate what's going on mm -hmm. and what we're doing. So a lot of it doesn't really bother me because I know as long as we communicate, we can always figure out what's going on. So we just try to communicate and then it works out. Oh my God. Okay, this is a what? good one. Cause this is so true. So next assumption is you're the crybaby and KB is always the solution maker. So is, are you a crybaby? Yes or no? Yes, I'm a crybaby. <laughs> <laughs> and I only cry when I'm really stressed out and Cayman is so the opposite. So like if there's ever a huge problem, like I'll be the first one to cry. I'll like settle down and be like, okay, I have to do this. But Cayman's like off rip, he's just like, Okay, we gotta do this, 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 and that. And I'm like, okay, and then that's it. So they said I'm the solution maker. maker. I believe that's facts. What I'm not good at is I'm not super emotional, so that's like my He's downfall. He's good under pressure. But when it's time for the nitty gritty, when it's time to get this shit done, if there's a fire outside of our house, yeah, guess what I'm doing? I'm packing up the, sh the essentials, I'm getting everybody ready, I'm like, let's go. Carla's like, oh my God, there's a fire. Okay, let's fucking go. So like there's a balance like she has that emotional caring side i have more of the like logical like what do we have to do to solve this problem side mm -hmm. so i think it balances it balances out because she's learning stuff for me i'm learning like okay i can't be so much like that i have to like really try to understand like your feelings and how you feel 
but there's a fire. Let's go. Let's not cry about it. That's Let's your go. Next, your next. <laughs> Assumption is that you don't always like everything that she wears. I don't always like everything that she wears. I can't tell her what she can and can't wear. So that doesn't mean I, I can't. I can always have an opinion though. If I don't like it, I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. But I don't tell her in a way. I've never. I've honestly never ever. Heard no, I've said that. it before. And you, she, if I ever say it, I get mad. She get no. She gets sad. He honestly generally doesn't like it, but it does, not because yeah. I, oh I'm wearing like pasties or like I'm wearing like it's too much or revealing. Not in that way. I think he, he honestly generally probably didn't like the outfit. Maybe I don't remember actually. It's about the no. When I say I didn't like it, it's always about like the style, like the whole outfit. If it doesn't fit right. Or does it look right with the whole style? I'm like, no, nah, that ain't it. It shows that me the same thing. Like, I will tell him. I'll be like, mm, I don't like your outfit. And he'll yeah. be like, he low key be like, just quiet. He'll be like, and he'll be getting sad. I just be getting sad. Like, <laughs> damn, I put, you know, you put a whole fit together. You like, hey, this about to be the one. You come out here. And that's why I be scared. I'd be like, don't, I tell her, don't Kevin look at me. Kevin always tells me, don't look at me. Don't, when he's getting ready, he's Because I need, I like need a chance to try it. I need a chance to get my fit together. She starts looking at me while I'm figuring it out. So like, you can't, that's not the final product. It's not the final draft. <laughs> this is like my first draft, my rough draft. I stop eating because I'm helpful, so. I'm helpful too, that's um, why I'm You guys go on trips to get away from haters slash negative things. <laughs> Do your little point again, do it. <laughs> that little, little ass hand. But we go on trips to get away from haters and the negative thing. That's not true. We go on trips because we go on trips, mm -hmm. period. We like it. Not like we go on trips all the time, but like we just go because we really enjoy traveling, like we said. That's all it is. There's no real other There's answer. There's no other answer. Y'all are selfish and all you do is spend money on surgery. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> So it says you're selfish and all you do is spend money on surgeries. Uh, if answer? you've ever like seen, like I really don't spend a lot of money on surgeries. Well, most of the time you're not spending nothing. I don't spend anything. So if anything, well, no, I do not spend a lot of money on surgeries. This person says, y'all don't give a crap about your fan base and haven't done anything to give back. Y'all have money, but, and it cuts off. So she's basically saying, that we don't, we give nothing back to our fans or our supporters. Uh, I'll answer this one. Okay. For me, literally on my Instagram, every day almost, I literally will give away money to just random people that just comment on my shit. Literally yes. almost every day, like a week is literally like 500 or like 300, $400 a week. I would say you're wrong. I feel like on YouTube, we haven't really had a chance to do a whole lot of giveaways because we've been saving a big one for 500K if you guys mm -hmm. actually watch the shit. So this person must not be a true supporter, but it is what it is. But we do our best to give back at the end of the day. Um, we're not obligated necessarily to do, to do anything, but we definitely do give back. And we give back in a lot of ways and everything we do isn't on camera. I'm a very giving person. If you act, you guys actually saw, like even when I go to the store and there's like dudes outside that are trying to get money for candy for their basketball team. Like if you yeah, ask her, right. like I legitimately will get it every single time. He will literally be like, I'll be right back when I come back. He won't even ask for the can for anything back. He'll just be like, you know, here you go. Like he literally gets it every time mm -hmm. we go to the store. Yeah, because I, re I remember I had to do that shit too. So like so, we both are very giving very people. Giving. She takes care of a lot of stuff too. Like that isn't necessarily your guys' business, but mm -hmm. she takes care of a lot of stuff too that like, by the end of that, whatever we give you guys is what we give you guys, but it's not like we don't have shit to take care of in our real lives too. So mm -hmm. we do these things, and if you're genuinely doing these things, people don't even see them because they're not on camera. But I want you guys to know that we do care about you, but you know, I don't know what more else you want us to do. We hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know it's not a prank, but we wanted to switch it up and give you guys a little more insight into us. Make sure you guys subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, man. We're almost at 500K. I said this like 18 times already, but we're almost there. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you press that notification bell to know when we post. Also leave a like on this video. Make sure to subscribe because you heard it, you heard it from him and not from me though. Make sure to subscribe. I hope you guys like this video and see you guys next time. If you guys want more mukbangs, let us know in the comments. We'll do different stuff. We're gonna do more challenges, more stuff like that. Vlogmas is also coming up. I'm not gonna say we're gonna do every day. Every day. We're not doing every day, but we'll we'll ramp it up for Vlogmas for sure. So look out for that. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you.